Hi, I'm Go Number 4 and welcome to Build a Thing, a Minecraft survival let's play series where in every episode we're gonna build a thing and today the thing is a chapel. But before we start building on that, would you just look at this view? <laughs> it's so beautiful. Man, I'm so happy with it. I could just like walk this road up and down for days. I mean, this is... I'm super happy with it. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build a small chapel and we're gonna build it right over here in this sort of spot. Um, just for reference, this is where the rest of the stuff is and that looks good up on the hill there. I like that, okay. But um, yeah, we're gonna build a small chapel here. We're gonna build like a small graveyard and I think it's gonna be really cool, but the thing with this is that I haven't really, I haven't really given a lot of thought to like the sort of fantasy religion that they're gonna practice here. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas for like a cool, uh, cool lore religion fantasy stuff that you want me to put in the world, uh, feel free to write something in the comments and maybe we'll do like the interior next episode with appropriately tuned to that uh, specific lore religion, fantasy religion. So, um, I mean, it could be anything. It could be like maybe they worship some the four elements or maybe they worship like creepers or skeletons or something. I don't know. Um, if you have any ideas, feel free to put them in the comments. I would really appreciate that. For the actual build, uh, I'm going with a build uh, inspired by like a Lego build that I saw and you know it's I think it's really cool to just try to find inspiration in in every place uh, you you look it's really easy <laughs> but it it's really uh, easy to just stumble upon something and then like wow well, maybe I'll try to build that in Minecraft we're gonna go with a gradient here uh, we're gonna go with a it's gonna be a white church with a red roof so or chapel I mean so we're gonna go with like a stone to a uh, white concrete gradient, something like this, where we have um, start with a cobble, we go up to the andesite, and as usual, the stone. And then after that, we're gonna go with some diorite just to mix it up into the whites, and then go there with the concrete and then the concrete powder. And I think that's a really cool block combination. So that's gonna be the majority of like the entire structure. Uh, but we're also going to, of course, be using some woods to decorate it and make some more cool colors uh, on it. And for the roof, we're going to use some red terracotta, some red wool and some red concrete, which is, looks something like this together, uh, which I think is really cool. And we're also going to use some red nether brick, but I don't have enough. <laughs> I couldn't show you because I don't have enough nether wart yet. I'm growing it over there, starting from the bottom. I think that's gonna be really cool. The red nether brick is actually a little bit darker, so it's gonna add some extra interest and texture to this. So I think that's gonna be super cool. I'm just gonna go like grind some more materials for this, and once I've done that we can actually get started on building. Man, I, I love walking here through this place. But it's, you know, it's getting a little bit framey. <laughs> I think it's uh, all, like, probably all the grass and leaves that I'm placing. Hello. I'm trying to talk here. You guys, be quiet for a second. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, yeah, it's getting a little bit framey. And so I've actually turned off the waving effect of, like, the, uh, the grass and the, all the plants. I kept the crops on for some reason, I don't know. I just like the way that wheat field waves. But that's getting us a few more frames. But I actually have a plan to upgrade my computer really soon. So once we get a new computer here with like a Ryzen 9 or something crazy like that, we might get some more frames <laughs> out of this. Because right now I'm running with like render distance 10 or some 12. Um, and, I mean, that's not very fun. I want to see more of the stuff that I build. I mean, I build this cool landscape so that I can 
gaze upon it from far away, <laughs> hopefully, in the future. So, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully in the next few weeks we're going to get some more frames uh, and a new computer. But for now, um, that's we're done talking about computers. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just get building, I, I guess. Let's do it. good i'm pretty happy with this ah. yes I, I like it i like it ah. i'm not super sure about these um purple and magenta windows though we might change the color on those and also here on the back i'm let's get down on this island here <laughs> um i'm not super I'm not sure about that roof shape. I think I might do a f almost flat roof instead, just like two blocks up. I think we're going to change that as well. But other than those two things, I'm very happy with it. I think it's really cool. It stands out um, in this area because it's like super uh, bright. And uh, it's got this, it's still, you know, it still fits in, in a way. I like it. We're gonna need uh, to put a bell up here. But I'm not sure if I should, like, use a bell, a Minecraft bell, or if I should try to build one. I'm not sure how I can build a good-looking bell in, like, a 1x3 block space. Um, hmm. Might have to look into that. <laughs> but... Um, uh, yeah, of course the interior is not finished and we, uh, need to figure out the, the religion that we, that they're gonna practice here before we fill in this interior. But I just want to say, a uh, a massive thank you to you guys. I just hit 100 subscribers when I woke up today and I am so happy. I, <laughs> man. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Hi. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some gardening or like some some terrain work around here, um, and we'll see uh, we'll see what happens next. But we're gonna do like a like a little graveyard around here. And I was thinking like maybe not this episode, but like I don't think the priest is gonna live in this sort of building, so he might need a set building um i think i'm gonna put like two buildings here uh in the future 
that could be like a residence for the priest and his family or something. I, if they have a family in this. I don't know. I have no idea. It's, I don't know. It's a fancy world. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, we're going to, we're going to start, start making this. Let's go. All right. So I've done a little bit of progress here. I built this uh, sort of fence or wall with a hedge around this thing and I uh, deliberately did the hedge very like even because I feel like um, in this place they probably very much care about like the way things look and tend to all these things um, since it's a holy place I guess come on my dude oh no <laughs> okay so where were we? All right. Yeah. So I did that and I built a path um, just leading here, but it's still very empty on the inside here. So we're going to have to add some sort of graves, um, gravestones, stuff like that. And I was thinking I came up with one idea for the bell. That's more fun than just like a wall and a full block or um, just a regular Minecraft bell. And that is to use these two uh, bad boys to, to build a, be uh, a bell, a sort of bell adjacent looking object. So we're going to try that out and see if, see how that w looks. So we're going to put the cauldron there and we're going to put an anvil there. And I mean, the anvil makes the bell sound, right? <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure. I think that's the best like I can probably do here because um, the the sort of bell Minecraft bell, it would just be so small, so tiny up there. Um, so I think this is better, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm not 100% sure <laughs> I actually like it more, but I, I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to come back with another progress update. Uh, just as soon as, as we've done some more progress. <laughs> because that's how they work. So, see you soon. Okay, so we're we're pretty much done here. Pretty much, I, not completely maybe, but pretty much. So we've added some of these gravestones here, um, all around, um, with little paths leading to and fro. I'm not 
entirely sure about the, this puzzle as like a sort of material there. I guess unless the day was grave was newly dug, it wouldn't be sort of like that. Um, so I don't know. Is this an unintentional piece of lore? Maybe there was a war recently. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, I, I was thinking maybe I could change him to grass blocks um, without any foliage on or just flowers on him, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, it sort of seems as uh, if you spam bone meal everywhere, <laughs> things just become more welcoming. I'm not super happy with all these double tall grass pieces. Uh, I think I might trim it down, but then I would have to do a lot of grass farming, which I could do, but this is going to have to do for now. Um, anyway, if we, we can do the walk around, do the tour. So we can head up here to this sort of layer. I did a small retaining wall made of the same materials as this fence or as this like sort of wall around the whole thing. Um, we can go up a step and we have this little entrance here, entrance way, and you can head in here and it's uh, empty, of course. But you can see that I changed the roof on the backside. Uh, and I'll get to that real soon. I promise. I promise. So we can walk around here. I I actually I didn't mention these gates before. I really like the um, the trap doors as like sort of pillars. Anyway, but let's finish this before nighttime. So we have a few benches spread out, some more graves, another gate, and here on the back side is a big big old window. Uh, and let's get a view of this. I changed the roof to a lot smaller uh, than it was before. Just, I don't know, really wanted to see this part of the building here. Nighttime cometh, hurry. Um, yeah, so if you can walk through this, squeeze through this place. I'm, I'm not entirely happy with the amount of detail I got in here. I gotta say, like, it feels like I, maybe I could have done a statue here. I'm not sure. We did this mausoleum. That's pretty cool, but uh, I'm gonna go sleep and then I'm gonna go sleep in real life and that's gonna have to be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much and if you're already here, um, I don't know, consider subscribing uh, and if you like what you see, I guess. Night is over, but for me, it's very late and I have work tomorrow. So see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.